Back now at 7.30 on CBS Mornings, and we have all, of course, seen the harrowing images from the war in Ukraine, millions of refugees struggling to flee the fighting, often in extreme peril as they do so. But we have to remember that many have not made it out alive. Charlie Daggett spoke to a man who told the story of his own family's desperate bid for survival. Charlie, good morning. Good morning, Tony. Since the invasion began, we've been reporting about the horrific civilian death toll. We have to remember to put a human face on those numbers. Each death tells a tragic story of loss. This is just one of them. The missile strike that tore through a line of people even as they were trying to flee showed the savagery of this war and a reckless disregard for human life. Erpin had come under heavy bombardment for days. Sergei Pedarbinas was away looking after his ailing mother, but his family was trapped in their home. 18-year-old Mikita, 9-year-old Elisa, his wife, Tatiana. Like so many others, they decided it was too dangerous to stay. I told my wife, I'm sorry I couldn't be there to protect you. But she said, don't worry, we'll get through it. Everything will be good. As they made a run for it, Sergei tracked Tatiana's phone when it showed up at an emergency room at the hospital. 20 minutes later, this photo came up on his phone. An image that resonated around the world, the bodies of children of a family struck down. I recognized my children even though their faces were hidden, he said. I was able to recognize them by their clothing, their backpacks, and the suitcase. That must have been a terrible moment for you. Yeah. Tatiana, the woman he'd known since high school, had died too. Mikita was a software engineer like his father. And your daughter, just nine years old. Yep. She liked dancing, very beautiful smile. Very nice daughter. Are you more angry or more sad? I'm trying to keep my emotions to myself, he said. I'm angry at Russia, at Putin, and the Russians who keep silent. Sergei will not keep silent, even showing us their bloodstained suitcases. He wants the world to know what happened here. He says their story is all he has left. Your whole family? Whole family, yes. Your wife, your children, two dogs. dogs. Yes. You have nothing left? I'm alone. You can see that he's still in a state of shock. I told him we admire his strength and courage. He said, I know I have to go on living, but now I have nothing to live for. Vlad. Charlie, Boy. absolutely horrific. Yes. Uh, we I, all remember that picture. We all remember that picture. It, it is unbelievably horrific. It, it was all I could do to keep back the tears. Um, yes. it, it's I'm Charlie, curious, Charlie, Charlie. Before you go, Charlie, I'm curious. Number one, I thank him so much for sharing the story. Seeing his little girl blow out the candle on her birthday cake is something we can all relate to. Seeing the mother playing with her children on an amusement ride, something we can all relate to. Does he have any idea what he can possibly do next? Where will he, where will he go? What will he do? I, I realize he's still in shock. He can't go back to his home because it's ruined. Uh, he wants to make sure that this message goes out. He wanted to speak with us. He is in a state of shock, but he is very determined. And that's why I said, are you more angry than sad? I think he's angry. He's angry at the Russians. Yes. And he wants people in the United States and the world to know uh, what's happened. I guess so, you know, they wouldn't have died in vain. But, you know, he's still in a state of shock. And just the fact that he found out from looking at that photo, that's how he found out. That's just, yes. that's horrific. Yes. Yeah, I looked at that picture, too, and I, when I saw the picture, I thought, these are somebody's children, somebody's family. That's what we all need to remember. Every time I hear the air siren, thank you, Charlie, hear the air siren or the warning, you know that somebody is possibly in grave danger and may not make it. Yeah, big holes in a family, and in this case, a family completely wiped out. This man's life is back to, to square one. Yes. And to think that he was tracking her on his phone, and so the hope was that he was going to be reunited with her, and then to see those images and realize it's your children's lives. And they, they were running to be safe. Yes. Thank you, Charlie.